Hey, hey, and welcome back. Um, I don't know for sure how I'm going to handle this, but the last episode was a minute, a little bit over a minute too long. So I think I'm just going to cut off basically the last minute of the last episode, because I don't really need it. Um, so if you notice any discontinuity, I think I'll end up somewhere up there in Criteria. Uh, that's why I ran myself down here, um, and didn't, you know, ended up cutting that out. If I don't cut it out, then hey, this is pointless. In any case, falling down and falling down, I'm going down, 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 all the way down, maybe, actually no, I think I want to cut over right here, because I don't want to go all the way down. Try to work my way down to the uh, Meridian tube down there. Oh, god damn it, this place. Fuck, I hate this tunnel. Eh, I just free shit, <laughs> use it as stepping stones. That works, no, no, I was hoping I could get through here without getting munched on by a plant. Oh well. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Use those freeze them. Use them as stepping stones. That is something that's handy about the ice beam sometimes. Because those guys would have just died in one hit, almost certainly, but to the plasma beam. If I didn't have the ice on, and then it would have been even harder to get through there. This place, I want to go all the way to the bottom. Yes, I do. Drop, <laughs> drop, and dropping. Oops, oh well. I was gonna go pick up that power bomb drop, but oh well, whatever. Boom! I kinda love the plasma beam, it's so handy. Oh, he still got off his old spinies. Totally shot him. Alright, Meridia tube, here we go. We're technically in Meridia right now. Like, not just that tube, but these side rooms. Shit, I didn't mean to go back in it. If you notice on the map, we're in Meridia. So, uh, it's interesting. So, that's, that's how early on in the game you do actually get to go into Meridia. For a very brief period of time, granted. But, you do. So, I kind of like that, too. I like how they did that. You know, how you have to run through, even if it's, you know, completely sealed in and safe and everything, through a, a much later area. It's like, you know, teaser here. You get to see this, but you don't get to go here for a long time. I don't know. I'm a fan of that in games. I like it. I like it when games tease you. Now let's see here. <laughs> oh, damn. That is the only way in the North Air. Alright. I had somehow thought that there were other ways in. Um, doo -doo -doo. Hmm. Well, well, well. And see, that's the weird thing, is it really, as you look down at the bottom, you see the boss down there. It, it, it's own area. You go in there and you'll see it's labeled as Ridley, but it's not a separate map. It's still on the Norfair map, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, whatever. Um, shit, I didn't even look at what I was intending to. Is there anything around here that looks like I could get outside of just, you know, going into Ridley? It doesn't look like it. It looks like I've gotten basically everything. Uh, or at least explored everything, which is unfortunate. Because if I haven't picked up something and a bunch of dots, I don't know which dot I haven't picked up. It's gonna suck. So anyway, heading down. Down, 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 down. Save point. Not that I want to use it, I want to pass through it. <laughs> like I said, this might be the only save point in the game where you can actually pass through from one side to the other. In this game. Other games, they do it. And again, in this game, I'm like 99% certain there are no power-ups in save rooms, unlike other games. Where there can be. Uh, I know where one of the two last energy tanks are. I don't know where the last one is. I want so we'll just grab it as we go by it. Because I think it's one of the ones that you kind of can't miss. So it looks like I can go... Shit. Over here. But that doesn't, that doesn't seem right. Okay. So that's not how you're supposed to get over there. Well, alrighty then. I will go up here. And I don't know what that, there was a sound, I know you heard a little doo, doo I have no idea what that is. Um, it's usually the sound of something unplugging and plugging back in, but I don't know what unplugged and plugged back in. So that's, see, that's that room, it apparently has nothing in it. I'm gonna check this shit out with the x-ray beam. Just to be absolutely certain. Cause it seems freaking weird. They do that, say they do that, like... Completely, okay, not completely and totally pointless as far as it goes. 
because there's a refill station. But, like, it, I don't know. Like, they could have just made that, put the refill station sitting here or something. I don't know. Seems kind of dumb. But whatever. Nah, I'm not really one to judge. Oh yeah, I think as you know, I think you can, I'm gonna try that again, because I did that and didn't even think about it. If I hit this and going, I can actually off, select off of it and continue to do it. So you can, it's actually kind of a cheap way to, uh, if you have to switch weapons or something real fast and you like can't afford to hit or something like that, if you want, you know, to, to that you can, you know, switch to that, hit it, and it freezes the game, you know, and then you can switch to whatever weapon you want, as soon as you come out of it, you can fire. It's, it's actually a great thing, it's ha very, very handy. This is where we went one time, and couldn't get through here, because, ah, wave me. That explains it. So let's see, there's gotta be a power-up over here, then. I mean, there's just, you know, a given, almost, at this point. Weird. Yeah, this is where it becomes a little tighter. You gotta be sure you're... Wait a minute. I was in here. Oh, son of a gun. Okay. So that leads you to the other end of that big long room. It's just, that's all, that's only there for that. Well, we explored it, so... Yeah, this is the fastest way I've found to traverse these things. So just do that. Just you know, keep grabbing and going and grabbing and going. Don't worry about trying to extend and swing really far. I don't have no idea if it's the fastest way to do it, but it's the fastest I figured out and care to go any further with. Now that we're down here, <clears throat> we're in. Okay, now remember I said that we have to get. I'll, I'll go up here just to show you this time, because I didn't last time. You can come all the way up here, way the hell up, and you can see that there's indeed the mouth that points that there's some sort of boss found this point. Well, and then you can't get through here. There's literally nothing you can do to get down there. Um, can, however, go in here and notice I'm not taking any damage because it's underwater. Now, this is also you're supposed to have the space jump to go up here. There is a way. I do not remember it. I think it requires some pretty... Also, you're underwater, so you can space jump much easier. Oh, no. Yeah, so you wait too long and you can't... As long as you're just going at it. There. There's also a way, if I'm not mistaken, you can... Okay, I've seen this done in a speed on you. In this course, this is like, like not possible outside of speedrun. You can freeze these idiots and wall jump off of them, but what you have to do to get just high enough to hit that dude, you have to wall jump between one of those spikes over there. You have to get to the wall between the spikes, wall jump off of it. It's, it's nutters. There's the only way I can describe that. But it's, so you can get up there without the space jump in theory. And now we're gonna head down. This is, well, oh, it's save point, right? Ha, called it. Anyway, we're gonna head down into Ridley. Now I know there's an elevator. But you'll see, oddly, it let me go into a ball. That it doesn't actually cut us to a whole brand new map. I don't think. Because, I mean, you're really on the Norfair map, so why would it? Yeah, see, it just does that number. It's kind of odd. Because really it's a very small area, really and truly. Alright, now there's always one direction that you want to go before the other, and I never fucking remember which is which. So I'm just going to pick this one at random and go. Notice there's acid in here, not lava. So. Because if, if I'm not mistaken, you usually do kind of a clockwise rotation all around, but yeah. Yeah, these guys are, I think you might be able to kill them with a couple of pounds, but they're special. We'll get to them later. There is a way to kill them. Fairly easily, at that. But, we shall wait. <coughs> and discover it later. Oh, seahorses. Eh. Seahorses and acid. Bad combination. Ooh, that just barely missed my head. I d I, yeah, I had no idea if those fire things still happen if you're standing up on the pillars. I thought I'm going to find out. What the fuck hit me? Yes, apparently they do. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. So I have to get through here. Quickly, or at least quickly enough. Uh, yeah, this area is one of the worst as far as hiding shit all over the place. I mean, for the most part, it's not that bad, but it can get bad. So we want to hop our way through here. And if you notice, I'm trying to remember if there's anywhere we used it elsewhere in this game. This kind of idea, but I do happen to know in here. You want to fall up in this? I know we balled up in the dude in the wrecked ship. And he walked through the spikes. I don't think we've actually drained anything by balling up until this point. I 
think that is other games that I'm thinking about where you ball up to drain certain waters and stuff. And if you could hear all that commotion, I'm just adjusting my microphone so that it's a little more closer to my face. I think I've already mentioned in a previous episode about my broken headset. So, oh, 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 oh. I know I can go down there. I don't want to yet. I want to explore over here a little bit because I want to say there's something down here. Maybe not. Okay. I'm imagining things then. Never mind. Yeah, I'm a fan of power bombs and stuff like this. I just blow open all of it instead of having to. Yep, yeah, screw these dudes. They actually take multiple hits to kill. It's really freaking annoying. There's some of the. Surprisingly, they're some of the more powerful. Like, they're the most powerful little dudes that dip down like that. But they're surprisingly powerful for what they are. There are, like, two different sets of mini bosses. And this is a trick. Um. You can get back up here after the fact. I mean, you have the space jump after all, but yeah. Whew. I almost never get that on the first try, but I made it. So I just like spamming the button and hoping and praying. Um, yeah. And of course, down here, yeah. then you, uh, this is indeed where you get, yeah, there's another, there is something up there. Before I keep attacking this dude. Is the golden Chorzo statue. Thought so. One of our last two super missile upgrades is right here. Yeah, usually you get him after you fight the boss, or get it after you fight the boss if you happen to hear it, but I, I don't care. <laughs> I decided to screw that noise, I'm gonna pick it up anyway. Yeah, he'll uh, he'll grab a super missile, see, and throw it back at you. I usually just stand here, um, because you can, yeah, you can, I forget how you're supposed to, I think you're supposed to just charge me because he'll grab super missiles, but you can, yeah, shoot him point blank or either other ways of, let him grab it and then shoot him. It eats up a, a super missile, but it works. Yeah, if you hit him while he's doing other attacks, he won't grab your super missile. Then. Yeah, that's the way to cancel those. I hate those little crescent beams. Those are the most annoying things. So I'm, I'm always... I don't even know if you can hurt him with regular missiles, because... Yeah, see, so he'll just dodge them. A funny dodge animation. But yeah, you either... There it goes. Oh, he was that close to death in the first place. Damn. Now, the odd thing about Ridley... At least, well... Not really odd per se, but something that it's got differently than some stuff is you actually get a hold of the big item early. Also, if you'll notice, that's how you're supposed to go. But uh, yeah, this is the big item, and, if, and this is probably the most famous item, famous symbol from Metroid games. Uh, because I don't know why it is, just people just love it. It is the all famous screw attack. You'll know you recognize this symbol from uh, good old Smash Brothers. All of them, I think, have the screw attack thingy. Now we have a little lightning around us, and we can blast through these things. It's also ridiculous powerful. <laughs> I think this is a safe point here, though I could be wrong. Uh, or a refill. Hey, I'll take that. That is cool. Um, in any case, I'll just hang out right here then. This is been the, let's pick up the screw attack <laughs> in Super Metroid. Um, we killed the golden chorizo. That's what that last boss was. This is, you know, the first one we pick up just the bombs, normal old bombs. Was the chorizo? Or no, wait, no, not chorizo. Chorizo are the were the race. That's what the race of those things are. But for whatever reason, and then the you know guide. I th and I think that there was a booklet where the names came from. They're called the statues. The ones that attack you, you fight are called Torizos. The T instead of a CH. So those are the golden Torizo, and the first one's the Torizo that you have to fight. And Chorizo is a race. I don't know. I think that's it. Either that or it's vice versa. No, something like that. In any case, I'll see you guys later.